My name is Francis Smith. I've been farming since 1985. Very important for we to practice agriculture because it relieves our body, especially so that we will not be worrying ourselves for government, this government, that again. My name is Tosin Epketi. I work with Sayal Capital as an investment professional. I got into the agri space mainly to close the funding gap for entrepreneurs within the space. For Africa, small order farmers contribute to about 80% of food production and in producing these different commodities, they are consistently faced with financing challenges. So as key players within the industry, we need to come together creating a safe space for them to operate, creating training sessions for them, telling them about sustainable planting, sustainable farming practices, and of course making them understand the impact of climate change generally to their farming processes. The climate change is really affecting us because especially with the local farmer that we don't have many machines to do agriculture, uh, mechanized farming, we are all waiting for the season. So sometimes when the season so hard, no rain, we get things, we need to plant trees. When you plant trees, by the time you are taking care of the trees, when they start producing, your body will relieve small. Obono, mango, etc. like that is very good to plant. When they start producing, the burden of the farmer is reduced. It is uh, projected that the population will grow to about 400 million by 2050. And if we don't begin to intentionally combat food security now, then we are setting up ourselves for food insecurity. We need to begin to adopt regenerative farming practices. Can you tell us what you know about regenerative agriculture and how you make plants more resistant to climate change? Yes, to regenerate agriculture is because before we they produce the, the rain, when it will come and how we will prepare for the rain to come. But now it's not like that anymore. The rain can just come sometimes plenty and sometimes we are expecting it will not come at all. So when the rain is too much, we change our planting. Uh, if it is not too much, we know what to plant again. Generative farming, what you are basically trying to do is to create a carbon sink where um, the emission of carbon into the atmosphere is limited. And it is a collective effort. A single small other farmer cannot do that. We all need to come, come together. Uh, before, in 1985-86-7, when we plant, it ill well. You grow very big. But now, when you plant, you don't heal well. You grow very small. Generative agriculture actually holds the key to, uh, to heal the hurt. People tend to say that regenerative agriculture is not scalable. You need to use a lot of mechanized farming. You need to do this, you need to do that. But in actual sense, given the fact that small other farmers contribute a majority to the food production, it means once we get the small other farmers to start adopting those systems, then we are causing major change. Agriculture is the backbone of Africa. For regenerative agriculture to actually take a stand within the system, it means we need to start adopting sustainable practices. My vision for the world as we begin to battle climate change is to have that space where, where everyone feels responsible. From food production to food consumption to waste management and we consistently and intentionally take that step as an individual and as a community, you know, to create awareness, spread the news and ultimately reduce carbon emissions into the atmosphere.